everybody. My name is Elaine Hales. I'm um, in um, right now in Ottawa, Canada, the nation's capital. So just wanted to say hello to everybody. Sure. So um, right, um, right now I'm a claims investigator. Um, I, I, I manage claims for the, for, for the, for the city of Ottawa. And, um, that's basically what I do for a living. It was a shock, um, went to work and they told us everybody pack up and go home. So we had to, um, you had to adapt to change. Um, it, it was difficult at first um, working from home. Um, you had to deal with loneliness. Um, you had to deal with not being able to talk to friends, family, co-workers um, in person. Um, so uh, the main thing was dealing with the, 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 the loneliness, partly fair fear because you know um the government wasn't really telling you really what was going on um you know how you know you were concerned about your health um your family health the health of your friends um so i you, you kind of felt um i kind of felt helpless at first but then as you got more information and 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 my employee was very helpful in, in, in providing us with um, um, the equipment needed to adapt to working from home. Um, and, and, and so uh, with, with obtaining information, um, the, the transition got, got, got a lot better. My partner, um, he was, he, he went, um, he went, um, he, 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 he went out of, out of country. And at that time there was no restriction. And then all of a sudden the government stated no more flights coming back to Ottawa. So he was stranded in Jamaica. And I'm trying to get him back to Canada. And it was so, it, that was a frightening experience knowing that all planes had stopped flying to Jamaica. So he was stranded in, 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 in Jamaica, got into a car accident, was seriously injured, and we're trying to get him back to Canada trying to call the Canadian government, finding out, um, can he come back to Canada? Um, what does he have to do to get back to Canada? Um, we had to get a letter from the doctor in Jamaica stating that this was an emergency and he, and he had to get back on a flight to Canada. Then he had to get a COVID test done. Um, couldn't find a flight directly to Canada he had to go through um, um, America. Um, then we had to think about, remember they also had, you had to be quarantined in, in, in a hotel and pay to be quarantined in that hotel. So, so, so next thing you know, uh, we, we, we had to deal with all of that. And, um, and, and because he, he was not, he was not, um, he didn't have the skill set to use the, the, the internet and all that stuff. Here I am in Canada trying to contact the embassy, trying to, trying to email um, Air Canada, not getting any response. Not, uh, um, it, it was just very stressful. I, it didn't happen to me per se directly, but having to try to negotiate, talk to um, um, 
talk to the airline, talk to the government, not getting really much help. It, 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 it was very frustrating. And I hope that nobody has to go through that again. surviving um being able to being able to look back at all this and saying that it happened i got i got through it but i've also learned And it's the learning part mm. that I think that when I think of resilience, it's okay to go through something, but we also have to review, um, analyze, and ask, and ask yourself, you, you, you know, you, you know, um, how did you survive? What would you have done differently? And if this is going to happen again, how will you survive again? Learn how to think for yourself. I always tell him, do not drink the Kool-Aid. You're going to look around and you're going to see the media telling you things. People are going to tell you things. During the pandem pandemics, people were telling people, oh, don't, um, don't go and get um, um, uh, the, um, the, the vaccine. Uh, 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 drink this. That, that will save you. Uh, don't believe this. Believe that. All I would say to you and my son and any young person, think for yourself, get the, get, get, get the facts, ask questions before you make any decisions that will affect yourself, your health and your future. I just thank you all for doing this. Um, this will be, um, I've always, I've, I've always said that as African Caribbean black people, of, uh, you know, we have to ensure that our history is told. And I appreciate the fact that you guys are doing this and putting this on record so that in 50 years, when they talk about the great the pandemic um it it, it worth um this will be record to note that this is what we experienced this is what we felt and 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 so i appreciate what what you guys are doing um um thank you for keeping our history <laughs>